What up, Jeff? Here we go. Hello, everyone. I'm Jeff Keeley, and yes, this you are. is the Game Awards Video Games Biggest Night live in person. <laughs> Great day, everyone back in it. On to this. Thanks, Master. That'll be different. Wasn't Sting for to honor the creators yep. of games. So welcome to all of you guys here today. Good stuff, good stuff. I wonder if we, on top of that, if we're talking about actors and stuff. You didn't say, you didn't say in video because so people the actors stuff on the but show. You know, we gotta be real and we can't ignore the headlines that are out there. Game yeah, gonna, creators to... need to be supported by the companies that employ them. Right down time. I think we all agree with that. Yep. So let me just say this before we get to any of the news. Yeah, I'm a fan of transparency and spy and Tony Hawk and that kind of mention, and I still don't any abuse, exactly, yeah. harassment, and predatory practices by anyone, including our online communities. Exactly. Is he going to directly mention Activision here? If we want this industry to keep growing, we must build an even brighter and more inclusive future. The games mm -hmm. we play. And when the, the games that we love, they teach us that we can impact the world around us. And yep. tonight, I call on everyone to do their part to build a better, safer video game industry. Good. Speak out online. Good. Vote with your time and with your dollars. Empower Thank God. Thank these time. world builders who are creating the future of all entertainment. And believe me, the future you're about to see looks absolutely incredible. We got a lot of good stuff for you. We have Hope so, so much news to get to. So glad you so talked about that. Tonight's first award. Please okay. welcome a nominee tonight and the star of Far Cry 6, the one and only oh, is that the guy? John Carlo Esposito. Is that, is, is that the guy with the meme with the with the guy? <laughs> is that that guy? Yeah, I have him. I have him. Let's go. The meme guy. If you're wondering, I don't play Far Cry, I don't know, I don't know much about the games or that, okay? Dependent for, this, for this guy, go ahead and Death Store, by the way. It's really this the only one I've seen game. someone play this year, and they're like incredible. Yeah, this game here, this is the only one I've really seen, and it actually looks incredible from the first time I saw it. I, this is the only one I've fully played out of the list, but I still think Death Store will win it. For me, it's between Ken and Death Store, but I think Death Store will win it, Tiger Lake. Like. I've also heard good things about Luffy or people talking about that as well. And the game award for best independent game goes to... This will be interesting to see. Kena, Bridge oh wow, I wasn't expecting to win it. Alright, that's the only game I feel to put all the way through. I still have to do the Master Mode playthrough to get my Platinum Trophy. That's why I'm missing on the game right now, but I've been too busy to play right now. Great game, great game, but um, I do feel that it's... It could be approved on some areas. Stage. Okay. Now they're back seen it with it. the first gameplay reveal. I when seen I this. saw this, I could not believe it was actual gameplay. Okay. But it is captured by the team in game this past weekend. But an, an engine. Sit back okay. and get ready to experience a new level of cinematic immersion. What we got? So this was two years ago. I watched the game for the last four or five years in a row. I would have seen this. And she said. Ninja Theory, yeah. I think I have an idea what it is. Forge new stories. Two years ago, that was the when the series S got shown off. Is this, is this Hellblade? There's the local Hellblade, to, yep, Suna Saga. Hellblade 2, that is. Yeah, I, 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 okay, this is gonna be a big one. Because this was the first time we really saw Next Gen and Pooch, remember? I still have to play the first one, but I've watched so many videos on Hellblade 1. I practically know what happens. I've watched the completionist episode and stuff on it. Suffering. It just looks so photorealistic though, doesn't it? It looks crazy. Of grief. I see what they mean by the cinematic the like stuff. Because like lines. You can see what I mean. Like look at the nitty gritty of the dirt, the gravel, the rock on the beach. Get what I'm saying? Alright, see it. Alright, let's see. I would say our name, but I don't really know how to pronounce the name well, so I'm not going to. Um, okay. Yo, that's nutty. Jesus Christ, okay. I wonder if they're going to show a release date on this, or if there's still more to be done, because that's the last thing we want is rush games, right? What's the thing about modern gaming? 
Well then. I don't think there was thing about modern gaming is that they just rush games out. I don't think Studio Light Ninja Fear really do though. But you get what you get what I'm saying when people I say rush games out just to get that Q3, what they call it, uh, money in. The Christmas money in. Yo, the, the nitty details on those eyes, by the way, that's nice. Holy shit. Yo, okay. It actually might be a mission in game, by the way, I think. But look, it's like transitioning from like cinematic bars to actual gameplay and that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yep, it's still there, right? Oh, you can see the spears in the back and everything from before, from the last few years of packs. Nice. Oh, what's this? It's someone saying who I know from the first game, maybe. Is that the connection there? Alright, alright. Pretty cool, pretty cool. That was nice, though. From a graphical standpoint, I was absolutely insane. Truly incredible. That's not a cinematic. That's game. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's why we yeah. do world premieres because this. Nominees for best performance. Best performance. I'm pretty sure I went with the. the, per the I went. I voted for the person who played the, the big like me, not him. Um, the person from Mez Evil Village. That's the only one I really know. It's the last nomination in this category, I think. Yeah, this one. This is the one I voted for. I've I've not played any of these games. But Mez Evil Village is the one that I saw the most out of all these games. Therefore, that's the one I voted for, right? So let's see. Oh, they've actually got them, like, the reaction. That's pretty cool. Maggie Roberts. Yeah. I had a feeling it'd be that one. The one that I voted for and stuff. Hello, everyone, and hello, Ben. I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you, but I look forward to meeting all of your avatars in the metaverse, where we can really get to know each other. Hey, before you see this exciting new Sonic trailer, I'd like to pass on a word of advice that my Scottish grandfather gave to me when I was just a boy. He said, son, don't grate it in the grinder. <laughs> Isn't that great to be? Because I'm Scottish myself. Don't grate it in the grinder, boy. Don't grate it in the grinder, grade boy. It. By all means, grate it till the cows come home. <laughs> but don't grate it in the grinder. And then to drive the point home, he put his hands around my neck and he squeezed real hard and he said, don't do it, son. Don't grind it in the grinder! Are you listening to me, boy? Are you listening? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Let oh, Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2. See, I'm not, I still not played Part 1. I did get it for you on PlayStation Plus, so whenever like I get time to play games over the next couple of months, I'm going to play LPs that we play playing Final Fantasy VII Remake life. Part 1. I see Yuffie in here, and I think she was part of the remake, the um, ex the, the extra part of remake that you have to buy separately, right? So if that's the case, then is this, po is this part two? Cannot wait for this full thing to tell, like. Graphics are not the guy totally insane, though. Remake. Integrate. Isn't it just the same thing, though? Uh, hey guys, post editing cube here. I just want to correct myself there. I didn't realize that when I was reacting to it, but that was the trailer for Final Fantasy VII Remake, Integrate, I believe it was, to go to a PC. So uh, that's really going to be really good for people who like to do mods and stuff, and just higher frame rate and visual fidelity as well. So just correct myself. Onwards with the video. Watching streamers on Twitch. <laughs> oh my god. Like a pretty reasonable compromise. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, here are the nominees. That's quite funny, I'm not actually gonna lie, that's pretty good. I don't even care what anybody says. Alright, what are the nominees? Because the best action is also this action adventure game, there's two categories like that. I can't remember what I vote for this. Mike for Blood, Chivalry 2, okay. Well, I can't remember what I can't remember why I vote for this. Deathloop, nah, I didn't vote for this. I've not seen anything to do with this game, so I can't really vote it, you know. Oh, Christ's sex, no. No. Returnal? I think I might have voted Returnal. Yeah, that's the only one I know in this last year. And I've seen actually bits of the game from people streaming it. Returnal. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, and the game award for best action game goes to. Let's see what we got. 
Returnal. Yeah, as expected. All right, you think? I think all the awards I've for it's fun. Creative free so far. Studio comprised of many industry veterans. Check this out. What studio we're talking about then? Pre alpha game engine footage, okay. Why is that all like horror games so far? They know that. It's all horror based. What is this thing? Okay then. It's Jurassic Park or something like that. the day the portal network collapsed, stranding us in these realms, we have searched for a way home. Beautiful looking, not Lost, gonna lie. And alone in the dangerous labyrinth of fantastical worlds. That's like really beautiful. Lands of fame. Dude, look at the skyline. Hey, box rather. Looks insane, like. Like graphically is a chance for salvation uniting the lost survivors this is like one of those type of games with like an exploration kind of thing exploration survival you know what i'm saying oh you also build your only kind of say it's like you built that it's really cool into this nightmare yeah that's kind of this game feels like it's kind of kind of game you know it's like, it's like different styles of games all at once, especially the whole city building aspect, you know? Wow. Alright. Well, I think you can destroy buildings. Nightingale. I wonder if that thing can destroy buildings you've already created. That'd be kind of a little bit annoying, but also interesting at the same time. As long as we stand together. Good ball, yeah. Our journey will unite us. Ah, that's a beautiful stuff in like portals coming together. Okay. What's the name of this game? It looks kind of cool. You, the Realm Walkers, are all that is left. And there's that guy from the start, yeah. Nightgale. Oh, Nightingale. Unreal Engine, but who's making it? Inflection Game. That's a studio I don't recognize, you know. It looks quite good, actually. To the stage for a very special performance from a much-loved game studio. Okay, I've got to get this guy's copyright stuff again. Wait. Cuphead? They're the, guys, they're the musical guys behind Cuphead. I mean, maybe get Cuphead DLC, because people were saying that for a while. Oh, do we have Cuphead DLC? Hold on. Did you aim DHR? I was right. I may be on something here. Alright, let's see. DC DLC Island, there we go. I was I got that completely right as well, that's nice. I called that. I actually wasn't expecting Cophead to appear at all, but I remember people were like, oh Cophead DLC, you know what I'm saying? And here we go. I know someone who's played Cophead on stream recently is gonna be going men off over this. Yep. Yeah, new boss. Don't forget to your yeah, I still need to play Cuphead, man. I'm into 3D platforms and all that stuff. I should have played it by now. I've watched so many speed ones in this game as well, so I don't know how I've not. In all honesty, like... Yeah. The boss is look as hard as ever. Let me try to get perfect score. Oh, okay. What do you mean by that, though? Interesting, okay. June 30th. Oh, sorry guys. Uh, I think that was 2022. I'll have to go back. Hold on. Okay, yeah. I just had to reverse it for a little bit there, guys. I June 30th, 2022. You can see it by my webcam. I just had to go to not the OBS. It's been the actual YouTube screen. We that have I just a date. Here. June 30th, 2022. It's so exciting. The delicious last course. That's going to be uh, cool. All right. Next up, earlier you saw the trailer for Sonic 2, the movie. Yep. And now it's time for the little blue guy to give you there a look at his next game. Rangers. Also coming in 2022. Well, I think it's called New Rangers, right? I called it. I said to a guy in the end that I wonder if they call it. Um, we've not heard anything since the 25th anniversary about this game. I wonder if they're going to show it. I've been waiting for this all night. Here we go. Yeah, because this is the, this is the, re the reveal scene by the in slow motion. Oh, here we go. 
Pails, yeah. Oh, my LTV, no dimensional. Let's see what we got, okay. I have to make man. Oh, what's it like data stream with the color bars? Okay. Give me a What do we got? Yo, the open world aspect, it looks insane. Are we really gonna get open world Tony game that looks like this? Is this what this is? This doesn't look like linear, this looks open world like. With all those grassy plains and stuff. Things out in rocks. Yeah, I'm not even joking you, this looks, this looks like open world Sonic. Hold on a minute. I wouldn't be freaking out right now if I wasn't going to be but this is kind of insane. I've got goosebumps, I can feel like shit was going to my spine right now. What's the premise of this game? I said Eggman. Sonic Frontiers, okay. It's going to be in PC, all the mods are going to be sick. Holiday what? I still have my webcam there so I can actually see the release date and stuff, you know. So I'm just going to be some sort of giants. I wonder if like Eggman and that stuff's going to be in this, I'm not sure. That looks incredible from what it looks like though. Uh, you know, one franchise I love the art direction in, Silent Hill. I hope we get True. a new one of those. Wow, yeah. he's really teasing it. So the people want it. That's direction. pretty funny. <laughs> best art direction. Alright, what we got? I can't both in this death flip. Death flip is a lot of categories, can't say. Okay, no. I don't think I'll get it. Best art direction for me is uniqueness, not just, oh, it looks pretty, right? Because in my opinion, Psychonauts 2 should get it. There's a section in the game where um, Jack, there's a level of Jack Blanks and it's all trippy and shit, and I think the best art direction, that should get it for that. But it's the uniqueness and the art direction for me, you know what I'm saying? Ratchet Clank and Ken just look really high definition. Psychonauts 2 is actually a bit unique. And the for best art direction goes to... Let's see. Deathloop. Um, you know what? For our direction, I can see that. Fair play, lads. Fair play. Because unlike most of those games on that list, um, the art direction, that the art direction in that game, like how the colours and all that look, and like the game in general, it doesn't look like in any other. So you know what? I can actually see that. You know, fair enough. These are the final five nominees. Oh, wonder what won that. And the game award goes to Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite. Yeah, Congratulations. I'm not gonna complain, but I still. RPG, the oh. Ah, uh, stop, stop, stop. This is. This, I kind of. I'm, I'm kind of a little bit salted, like this great, like just like, you know, just. Slowly, just like, quickly going over this because it's my favorite genre, uh, favorite genre of game. So, um, I voted Tales of Arise for this. And the game award goes to. Tales of Arise. Good, thank you. Actual work, actual work. Best score right. and music. Those. Um, best score and music from what I've played. Um, I went with Marvel's Garden of the Galaxy. But I've not played any of these, so yeah. Nominees are. Let's see what we got. And the game award goes to. Near Replicant. I knew it was between now and Marvel. I, I didn't know which one would get it. Next up is Content Creator of the Year. But first, let's hear from fans and creators themselves on who they It's going to be to Dream. Win. I would be surprised. Like, I, the only one I know here is Dream, so that's the one I went for, you know what I'm saying? Well, let's see who is right. Here are the nominees for Content Creator of the Year. And the Game Award goes to... Dream! What Congratulations! I am totally shocked by that. Here in person. Wow. Here are the nominees for Best Multiplayer Game. And the game award it takes goes two. To... Gotta be it takes two, right? It takes Thank two. you. Yes, Jotham. Joseph, you did it. <laughs> Let's see, can we get his reaction? I need to see him. There he is. There's the boy. I really hope he wins game of the year. Congrats. I'm gonna need him up on stage. We need, we need him into our fuck the year. Good the game. I want League of Legends. League of Legends. Genshin Impact. Wow, really? Stay right here. Oh, dog, that is fucking shocking. I'm a Asian player, which if you don't know, I'm actually playing it on my other monitor right now on my PS5. The fan base had a complete outcry about the anniversary rewards this year, so I was like, yeah, no chance. And just in case you don't actually think I am playing it. Oh. I think it's inverted, but you know the one of the one of the little surveys that they tell you to do, you get like thirty thousand more for doing it. I'm literally doing that right now as I'm watching it, in case you think I'm talking shit. But yeah, I was the last game I was thinking I was gonna win that after the outcry and all the people like review bombing it, giving it one star this year. Surprising, but hey, I won an award, so that means we may get more free primo gems. You know how that works.
Best narrative. Best narrative, all right. But you should have actually inclined to think not to anyway again. Every loop I'm and Deathloop. Honestly, I can see Deathloop getting this one again, you know. It was a spell, I am telling you. Death will get it. They should get it. How do we break it? I need to find out exactly what happened that night. I can reveal their secrets. Maybe this. You have proven yourselves unworthy. Oh, you have to say, see, I've not seen most of these. I can't really say. Still one of my favorite games this year. Still my second favorite game this year. I, I think it'll be a takes two again. And the game award for best narrative goes to. Let's see. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Marvel's Guardians of All right. the Galaxy. All right. Free alpha footage. Oh, it's this game. We saw this before. Yeah, we saw this game before. I remember watching this. Isn't this, yeah, the person that's looking for, like, the ultimate version was still evil? Yeah, I remember this. This is actually gameplay this time. Because the first thing we saw is we got, like, a cinematic trailer. Like, a. I was going to kind of Breath of the Wild system, I see. So many games got that nowadays since that game came out. Like the little, like, uh, even Gaijin does it and that stuff. Okay. I see this game's gonna be fully focused on exploration. I might check out every. If it's not Game Pass, I might check out. I wouldn't say I would buy this, like, feel proud to that. Oh, that's kind of a cool mechanic. You can do flips in and stuff. Okay, that's quite cool. Gotta be honest. Ooh, customization too. I do have to say, I like that. This is the game where you become like Animal of the Mayan, that's right, I forgot that. But it's basically Breath of the Wild about Mario Odyssey mechanics, which, you know, two great games, right? So, two big again. You can just become a lion, yeah, because that makes sense, right? <laughs> that's cool, though. I do think this game will be great when it comes out. I think we'll catch a lot of people off by, uh, yeah. Shia, is that how you pronounce it? I think, this I think this game will catch a lot of people off by surprise, to be completely honest, like. Ring. This is school to an, an epic game, so PC. Cool. Cool, cool. At Saints Row. Oh, brand new look at Saints Row, eh? Yeah. I see, this is the game I actually properly plan on buying. Like, see, I played Saints Row 1, 2, 3, and 4. I never beat Saints Row 1 because I was very, very young at that point. Not like super, super young, but like, yeah. Saints Row 2 beat, Saints Row 3 and 4 I beat. Let's see. Alright. Yeah, like I say, it looks very essential 1 and 2 esque. Because it's in a city, not like the space stuff they were doing in 3 and 4, you know what I'm saying? Especially 4 though. Get the miniguns back and stuff. Okay. Who messes with the saints? No one. Not the first street saints anyway, I believe that's what they used to be called, right? Hmm. Yeah. They look pretty decent, like, especially like decent, they got like core mechanics and that stuff, and they can mark see. Alright, cool. Nice. Weapon variety, shotguns, minigun, pistols, that kind of stuff, nice. Obviously, melee option, too nice. Oh, like other boards in it? That was kind of cool. Obviously, for the course, you know what I'm saying? Next step is to find people that can shoot guns. Yeah, wait, miniguns in that, of course. <laughs> Dual wielding SMG, that's what I like to see. Sounds like fast fire, but anyway. Ooh. That should look kind of insane, okay. I'll have to like play for myself and see what it is, although fucking characters are like a thing, and you can customly like without your ride too, okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Definitely gonna be checking this out whenever it comes in. I believe it's in March. Does it make a comment, right? Unless I have to push the back for some odd reason. August 23rd. Why did I think it was in March? 8 23rd, 2022. Alright. Wait, is it August? Yeah, it's August. Ah, it's still not bad. Your game. Let's see what we got. Push the second off when this guy gets again. Okay, here we go. I tried that. This could win that actually. I've seen, but I've not played it, but I've seen quite a few people consume this. I would really like to see this game guy leave an award. One of my favorite games this year by far. That is my favorite game this year. This is what I think will win game of the year. It's gonna be fun. Very close. Action adventure. Ah, 
I, I don't really know the advent. And the game award for best action I don't adventure know. game goes to. Come on, Ratchet and Clank, Psychonauts. Metroid Dread. I did tell you you could probably get it. Because the type of game Metroid is, you are, you've got action all the time, all the time, and you're also, you know, I've got that with your call it, um, you're adventuring as well. Hey, Doug Bowden, they just go. They've also got that adventuring aspect of Metroid type games, so yeah, I can see that totally. Damn trailer! Alright, let's go. Oh my god, this game's a good man. Oh. There is a world beyond the borderlands. I see. A world forged by wonder and ruled yeah, by Yeah, Wonderlands. Let us put word out. There's one alone who can wield fate. One alone whose story is in their own hands. The Fate Maker. Wait, That's you. Heavy, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, you can already see the Borderlands ace like or they're like. I can aid you. I I am okay Valentine, today. gallant adventurer. Okay. The scary stabby one is Fred. The robo guy, nice. So if this is Wonderland, instead of using guns and that stuff, we're using like swords and RPG mechanics. Like sword, mage, that kind of stuff, I assume. A beautiful I don't know, we still got like guns, alright, fair enough. But it's Ooh, I saw those bow and arrow, you know I'm a big fan of those. So it seems like you can use gun, Thor, bow and arrow. So the mixture of Borderlands and like traditional RPGs. I like this. It gives me even more like a reason to check that out. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong, yes. Oh, she's got an axe. Was that, was that like an axe she was holding there? Listen to me, lip oh, the central well, hub is kind of cool. What's that? Yeah. A powerful ancient meteor. What's that little like dice thing that spins? I don't know what that's all about. This isn't a blessing. The, the world looks like, great, man. It really does. It's very open and expansive. Hold on, what game are we playing here? Borderlands. Wait, why does she appear so like high over them? Is she secretly a boss? Like a final boss? I would be a surprise, wouldn't it? I really would be. I guess he might have liked this a lot. Have we got the release date? Yeah, I can't remember if this thing's got a release date. I think it was like March time, right? Nah, right, we got that release date, let's see. March 25th, yeah, I've got nothing really around that time, so yeah, I might actually be able to check it out. I've wanted to as well. Yeah, let's go. This game won multiple awards last year. Who's this? Who are we talking about? We won multiple awards last year. I can't believe that actually jump scared me. I should have expected a, um, the Among Us. I can't actually believe that got me. Among Us VR. And the side men do that, that's going to make some awesome banging content, by the way. Or engaging well, that also is a downfall because you. developers could get lazy and just rush out a game and patch it later. There's two sides to that, you know what I'm saying? But if done in the right way, yes, it could be absolutely great for a game's potential, don't get me wrong. Warzone Apex Legends, you know, one of the usual, I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy is in this, what they call it, category. This, this is the one that I think I'll win it, I always see people saying only good things about this game. And I'm an RPG guy, you would think. Uh, you want best mobile game? You haven't had a lot of updates in the last year, Genshin. I've played through all of them, so you might actually get it here. Although when you're going up against these games, I don't think you'll get it. It's going to be Final Fantasy, I, I do hear nothing bad about that game, I hear great things and about it all the time. For the best ongoing game I hope it's Genshin, to... but pretty much ends, but it's going to be Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Exactly. Yeah. As expected. Event, head to Rumbleverse.com okay. to sign up. Now, here's the world gameplay debut of a sequel to a Game Awards nominee from a few years ago, A Plague Tale Requiem. Yeah, oh, here we go. Here we go, lads. I've not played the first one, but I've watched a good, good bit of the game. When people stream it. Amicia, come. Yeah, same characters I'm again. Nice. Good, you. good. Glad did I live and gladly die. And I laid me down with a will. Impossible. Yeah, there's the rats again, yeah. In the first game, nice. Come on, 
like very similar to the first game. I can't even tell if it's gonna be great again. If it's anything like the first game, it could be, it could get it could get game of the year. Seriously. Well, next year's gonna be very hard to get game of the year when you consider what can come out next year. I don't know when it's coming out, but Breath of the Wild 2, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon, this could be in that, you know what I'm saying? I think Halo Infinite, does that count as a future night? Because it's really too late. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the kid, the kid in this game is a little bit older than this game, he's a little older, like. Ooh. What have you done? Oh, that was kind of not a no, I don't know why. Mechwheel, man. It's like Tail Mechwheel. 2022. That game's going to be literally not nice. I can tell you, tell you right now. What we got? I know Ratchet's in this again. Oh, Christ, sex. Yeah. Subtitles. Coming shortly after launch, yep. players will be able to enable a sign language interpreter. Okay, that's extremely good. I think both are Ryzen 5 could win it because of that alone. I've not seen any other game do that. Girl, Again, I would like Ratchet Clank to win it, but I don't think. The only game with an on-screen interpreter, I think, for is the Rising Five Shooting for that. I don't see it. I don't think any other game done that. The game award for innovation in accessibility goes to... Any of them could get it, though, really. Forza Horizon yeah. 5. That on-screen interpreter it was a game-changer right there for them for this award. Absolute. Tonight, that safe racing. Nice racing. racing wow, but I'm so shocked at that one. It's not like racing game wins every year. Talking about racing fire, I actually need to still get my LP out for that. I not had a chance to play at all with Pokemon Machine and Pro coming out. It's since like part 7 or whatever the series, so I'll be sure to like, um, get back to recording that next, next week or so. Okay. Best game direction. I still, I've never, I still never understand what this category actually meant to be about what it comes to, and I still don't understand. Honestly, I can see this winning again. I really can. Returnal also may get it. My name is Raz, and I'm the new intern. This is the Both Psychonauts 2 and Ratchet and Clank were phenomenal this year when I played them, but I just can't see them getting it. Much as I want to win it. I think it's gotta be a takes to for me. It just all comes together in that game. Like he said. Game direction goes to Deathloop. Oh wow! Again? Maybe people, are, maybe it isn't really as good as people are saying it is. I do have to, I do have to say it. That was the one I wasn't expecting to get. It. Fair play, guys. Fair play. The thing is, if I've actually played, I would know if I have it. You know what I'm saying? I just feel that it's a game that's went under the radar that a lot of people might not know is actually really, really good. Because um, apparently, scored really yeah. high as well. You know, so like it's critics going. Okay. Tonight. In the category of best esports game presented by Grubhub, here are the nominees. Uh, I don't and really the game pay attention to this. To League of Legends. League of Legends. I think that wins every year, to be fair. So yeah, that makes sense. The family game. Here are the nominees. And the game award goes to Mario Party. It takes two. Really? No here Nintendo game for the first team in years. Game. Wow. Nickelodeon also brawl on the memes. Guilty Gear Strive. Okay. I'm not, I'm not putting the other ones. Next, best sim strategy game. Here are the nominees. Uh, and the game award goes to Age of Empires right, 4. Fair enough. Fair enough. Next, the nominees for best VR AR game. Uh, and the game Man, award goes to Evil. Resident Evil 4 yeah. VR. And finally, your most anticipated game presented by Prime Gaming. Breath of the Wild. Gaming. Sequel to Here are Breath the of the nominees. Wild. Sequel to Breath of the Wild. Surely. And the game award goes to. Elden Ring. Oh, wow. A second in a row. Really? Oh, okay. Why, well, everyone, our next guest They're is all a little games shy. To if oh, anyone in the good. audience has any twin blades or wing spears, talking to you, Reggie, I'm going to ask that you <laughs> please put those away for now. Um, let's let's bring him out here. He's a little shy, but look, everybody, it's it's my pot friend. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Come on cool. Out, pot friend. This is kind of cool. What is this? You. Off of my own Okay, something. that's cool. Out, pot friend. Don't be shy. Uh, Looks like he's got a, a note or something. You got a note there, pot friend? What's that? It's okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm interested Let's to see what this Let's see what this note says. Thanks, pot friend. Good evening. Please enjoy my gift. A new trailer for Elden Ring. Oh, okay, that, that's why they said that. I guess we got uh, another okay. world premiere trailer. That's cool. Thanks, buddy. Let's check it out. 
Yes, he is. Part of this may be like an open world, like Dark Souls, from what I understand, right? In the first trailer. I don't, I've never really played a Dark Souls game at all. I've watched people play them, but I, I don't think I can ever get into it. It's not my thing. I'm not saying it's bad by any means. It's, they're outstanding games, to be honest. When, especially Dark Souls 1, one of the best games ever made. Dwayne, but like, it's not my thing. It not my genre at all. Okay. Oh, okay. By whom? And why? Oh, so what's the story? Like, you got to put the Elden Ring back together or something like that. Like the idea. Man, game of the year next year, if they are released next year, are going to be so tough. Possibly for the well too, Elden Ring, God of War, <laughs> Borelli's in Forbidden Ways, like what? I feel bad if any developer try to get into like, the game of the year category next year, because it's going to be extremely hard, like. If an indie game gets into game of the year early nomination next year, you've earned it, literally. Well then, is that why it made my twin blade, I assume? God damn, alright, I see you, I see you. I'm the blade of Mikola, Melania the Seventh. Oh, that's quite that's kinda of thin like were the mightiest to remain, and locked horns in combat. Yeah, I can see this game be this game honestly could get game of the year. I want to be on any of them could. The Cold War Ragnarok is good as God of War 2018 that could get game of the year. A Rise of Burden could get it. Breath of the Wild 2. Breath of the Wild 1 won game of the year, if anywhere close to Breath of the Wild 1 or better, could win it as well. Like I say, next year it's going to be a competition and a half. Oh, who's that? Whoever that is, looks like a good character design anyway. Thou shouldst take the crown. Oh, you're the one talking, okay. That character design looks like a mage, if anything, that looks pretty cool, like. That game's gonna be crazy when it comes out, I can tell you that. Not my type of game, don't get me wrong, but... I can tell, I'm definitely not going to be watching people play that, like on Twitch or YouTube or something. February 25th, eh? Good, just confirming the date, the same, February. Hey, excellent. Did that Good come in the same day as Horizon? Amazing, I can't wait to step deeper into the world that of Elden Ring. That's very close. Uh, when it does come out in February. Now of performing music stuff from on. each of tonight's Game of the Year nominees. Once game of the Year Orchestra, here we go. Game Awards Orchestra. One of my favourite things about watching this show every year, man. Now... My, like, my heart wants, like, um, Psychonauts 2, Ratchet and Clank, or It Takes Two to win. That is my personal game of the year this year, Ratchet and Clank. That is the only game this year I played that I literally no flaws, in my opinion. At least from my playthrough, I literally did not have a, an annoying thing happen, or a buggy thing happen during the entire playthrough. And I mean, not just beat the story, 100% platinum trophy, all of that. Wasn't boring, wasn't super grindy or any points, really. The only thing I would have wished for is the game was a bit longer, about 10 hours to be just regular campaign. If it was about 15, 20 hours, I would definitely be like, yep, game of the year right there. But that is my personal game of the year. But that game right there, it takes two, that's what I think will win it. That's my official prediction. I think it takes two will win it. But I changed through the night. You know when I started winning some awards through the night, I was like, hold on, this has got a chance, you know what I'm saying? I think it takes two will actually will win it. I mean, it takes two seconds not to get Ratchet and Clank for once I want to win, but we'll see what happens right, you know what I'm saying? All the games nominated, honestly, or could win it, honestly, from the, the game that I saw in the first winner, any of them could win this. Absolutely. And just so, and just so we know, Psychonauts 2, like, it's my second favourite game of the year behind Ratchet and Clank. I had a slightly one or two nitpicks about this game, that was it. And just so I, you know I'm not like bullshitting you and going back and predicting the right, right game, like the right um, game on it after the fact. Just so I can keep my streak alive, it is alive, you just see in the bottom left corner down here, so I'm not bullshitting you guys with one way here. Yeah, that game was great, man. I'm not playing the first second not, but that game is to go back and play the first one now. Apparently it's in Game Pass, I think, or, or 360 or something, so I'll just go back and play it. See, all these games are great this year, man. Any of them, and I mean any of them could win it. Literally any of them. Metro is also in the flip. I won an award, they won the big, better awards as well tonight. The actual adventure category, so we just say that doesn't get it either. Well, I mean, a lot to admit, we find after waiting so long for a new game. Hey, uh, Dread actually doesn't get in the year. Because, that would be nice, like. There it is. Yup. Any of them could win. All of them are fantastic. It's not like last year where, like, it was a two horse race. I think it was between last of us and most Tsushima last year, right? Not mistaken, but uh, yeah, this year you cannot actually tell who's gonna win. It's literally so tight.
Oh, by the way, for those of you who may be watching this video that I've DM'd, I know I say my official prediction was Ratchet and Clank, but if it gets it, I'm going to say I'm incorrect this year because my I've changed my. Although if this, this might be a this might be a dark horse. Definitely, from how many awards at one point, maybe it's a dark horse. But I've been saying to some people DM my official prediction Ratchet and Clank. I've changed the takes too. So if I get if it is Ratchet and Clank, I'm gonna cut my streak of getting this right and then correct. But I kind of bullshit that, you know what I'm saying? Dude, I'm not really bothered. I've got to write so many years in a row, I'm not really bothered anymore. I love that every time. Every year they do that. Alright, there we go, lads. At least this year there'll be no controversy at Wednesday because any of them will all deserve it. Who gets it? See, I think it will be a takes two. But it could be like a good 4 or 5 with the pure. Like. Nah, who's getting this? Like I said, I'm going for the takes two. I think that will win it. I really, really want to control for one stage. But we'll, we'll see. There we go. That was fantastic. A fitting way to honor the very best of the year. Oh yeah. Let's true. hear it one more time for the Game Awards Orchestra. All right, here we go. And finally, congratulations to all of tonight's nominees. True. All pretty incredible games. Oh yeah, they are. And the it's never been in a long game time. of the year is. It takes two. Yes! Let's go. I was hoping it happened. And I, oh, that means my guess is correct, so my streak is still alive. So I've got 27, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 2017. Uh, yeah, uh, the Oscars. Yeah. Oscar yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, in a way, the Oscars got fucked because the Game Awards is getting way better. So. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I wanna. I know there are some seconds. I'm gonna be extremely fast, so I wanna thank my. Uh, oh, uh, let me see. Going, my, my my beautiful team for a fantastic world. Obviously, without them, I can't do anything. And also, I wanna say also, I want to uh, give this award to my daughter, Mio. And oh, that's my cool. soon to come daughter Zoe. It's so that's nice cool. to have children. I'm surprised how much you love them. If you don't have children, go get them. I mean, this, this <laughs> thing can happen. Thank you again. Oh I'm God. really, I'm shaking. Look at me, man. This yeah, is no like one, a though. big, big moment for me. And Neil, oh, that's your funny. big inspiration. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. That is well deserved. Thank you. I'm so glad to chat last second. I've not personally played it because I don't really have anybody playing with right now. You know, if they made it. <laughs> You know if they made it, where the single player, you can play a single player with an AI partner, I would totally play it. Because I was one thing I was looking forward to the most star of the year, but I couldn't because I didn't have a partner player, you know what I'm saying? See you next summer for Summer Game Fest. Yeah. Such a pleasure that we got to do this in person. Thank you so much. Have a great holiday season. Good night, everybody. Great show, Jeff. Great show. I didn't have, didn't have a lot of games that, like, that went to my taste. Maybe I had one or two. But uh, usually they have a lot more like, you know, uh, games that are like RPGs or platformers, but um, not this year, but I'm still a great show in life. A lot of like big hearts with like Elden Ring and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's going to be my reaction to the Game Awards 2021. Let me know what you think in the comments and that stuff. And I'm really, really happy Joseph got it because it's like a complete story arc now. He came to the Game Awards to fight the Oscars and I really, really call it. It became like meme worthy and it became like the main thing of the show in 2017 all the way like four years later. Oh, when the game of the year. I have like a storyline in itself, man, you know what I'm saying? That's really, really cool, but I don't want to hold you guys too long at the end of the show, so um, thank you for watching my reaction to the Game Awards 2021. Like I say, leave your leave stuff in the comments, and um, yeah, I'll have a healthy debate about um, a conversation about what you guys thought was good and what was bad about the show, alright? With that, this is Cube, signing out, have a good one, stay safe, and peace.